guys welcome back to another video in this video I'm going to demonstrate a simple addition program that adds two numbers and generate the sum okay so before we uh, work on that I'd like to show you first the output of our, pro of our program let me mount to my drive C and then load the file now I already have the sample code here that I like to show to you. Okay, so here's the output of the program. If you notice, it clears the screen. So we're going to have a code that allows us to clear the screen. And then it's prompting us to enter the first number. So let's say we enter uh, 4 for our first number and 5 for our second number. The sum is 9. Okay, let's run our program again. This time, let's have it 3 and then 6. The answer is 9. So we're going to create a program that performs this operation. Let's now write our code. First thing is let's save the file. I have here my text editor and then I'll be saving it. Let's, to create a file, let's say add1.assembly. Okay, yeah. So this is my file name. Next is let's write our code. Title program to compute uh, for sum of two numbers. Okay. Next is we're going to have our model. Okay, so what's wrong with my typing, okay? Now we're going to have our data, our code, and end. For our data, we need to create three variables. I'll be creating here string one, db, then 13. 10 is for line feed, and then 13 is for carriage return. The value 10, 13 here are all as uh, ASCII values, okay? Okay, enter first number then dollar sign string 2 dv 10 13 enter second number and then string 3 dv 10 13 okay sum is okay Here's the strings that we're going to use. Here are the strings that we're going to use. Now let's run our code. Uh, let's write our code here. First section is we're going to have our clear screen. To do that, we need to um, write the following code. Move ax03h and then after that interrupt 10h. Okay. So the this code here will uh, clear the screen so next let's now display our first string which is enter the first number to do that we need to use leia dx string one leia stands for load effective address ah by the way uh, we forgot another thing here before we load so we need to have move ax at data forgot this one here and then move ds ax okay so we need to have this to make sure that we are somehow pointing to the data section that we have now let's continue this this section here will allow us to display our string one followed by move ah9 and then interrupt 21h next is we're going to input now our first character now um let me show you first this site. Okay, so I have this site here. If you go to this URL, you'll be able to see different DOS interrupts. And what we're going to use for input is AH, then followed by 01 here. That allows us to read from standard in, okay? Standard input with echo. And then the values are stored, it returns, a, the input value is returned 
to our AL register. Okay. Next is so we're going to have you move AH one and then interrupt twenty one H, then move BL AL. Okay. So the purpose of us so take note that when we use this um, move a zero one the values are stored in our al register now since we're going to input another uh, value here we have to move the data this one here moves moves the data that is stored in our al to bl so that it will not be overwritten Otherwise, if we run the program, we have another input, it will override the previous value. So we need to move it, okay? So that's the purpose of this section here. Next is, let's prompt the user to input now our second string or to display our second string. Okay, so we're displaying the second string here. So you all you need to do is to change here string to. After that, let's... Um, and prompt the user again to input a value but this time we're going to move it to our AH register uh, a BH register rather okay once we have that let's perform the operation so when we say uh, we could just add followed by BL and uh, BL and then BH okay so we're adding our BL register and BH register wherein it contains the values that we have inputted. Next is we're going to do subtract BL and then 48. Now, what's the purpose of subtract? We're, we're in, we're performing addition. Let's, uh, I'll explain this. If we go to our ASCII table here, okay. Now, if you look closely, we have here on this side ASCII 48, which is equivalent to 0. And then hexadecimal 30 is also equivalent to 0. By the way, uh, this line here, the one that we're using, is in ASCII format. Okay, So 48 here, okay, 48 is equivalent to 0 in ASCII. The reason why we are subtracting BL to 48 is that to ensure that our value, whatever value that we have here, will be from 0 to 9 only. Now, if we input values that are greater than, let's say, well, technically the program will just accept one value, but if we uh, enter values that are greater than or lesser than 48 which is our ASCII value it will display other symbols here so the program that we're solving is uh, is between 0 to 9 only the purpose of subtracting it to 48 so that we're sure that it's somehow within the range of 0 to 9 okay that's the purpose of this line here now, once we have that, let's display the text now for our result. So, this is now string 3. And let's display our character move AH2 and then move DL. So, we stored the value to our BL register here. So, we're going to have your BL and then interrupt 21. Next is we're going to have our exit, move AH, 4CH, and then, uh, oh, sorry, 4CH, and last is interrupt 21H. Okay, so interrupt 21H for our exit. So we have, this is our code. Let's test before I explain it again. Now let me open our DOS box. Let's mount our drive. Let's look at our file. Ah, uh, sorry. We need to go to drive C. So we have the file here already. Next is let's compile it. Hopefully there's no error. Otherwise we'll debug it again. 
Oh, okay, good. There's no error here. Then T link add one dot obj there. And then let's try it add one enter. Oh, okay. So you, you see you saw that uh, it clears the screen. Next is let's we're prompting us to enter the first number. So five and then three. The sum is eight. Let's run again. Seven and two, we have here nine. Okay, so take note our program only accepts a digit from zero to nine. Okay, so if we will have values, let's write nine. Uh, let's try uh, add nine and nine. So the sum here is uh, B. Okay, so because it, it uh, uh, look for the values here okay but uh, we'll have a program that allows us to enter or to display two number values soon but for the meantime let's stick to the two input uh, single input value so again let's go back to our code uh, we have this section here is our uh, variables so that we'll be able to display our string one enter the first number string two enter the second number and our sum okay this section here is our clear screen. This section here is uh, we need to somehow point to our data. So we need to have our uh, at data uh, sort of a pointer here. Next is this one displays our string one. String one, uh, sorry. Display string one. Then uh, we input, so we are going to use move ah01. Then we store the value. Take note that when you do this uh, move ah01, all the values are stored in the AL register. Okay. Now, the reason why we're moving this is that just in case you need to input another one, we will not, the value will not be overwritten, so we need to move it to, our, to the VL register here. We display the second string. We input again. And then we compute the values. So we add BL and AL that uh, automatically uh, gets the sum of the two numbers. And this one here is we're going to subtract the value of whatever item that we have 248 we're in. Take note 48 is our ASCII value here. Okay, 48 is our ASCII value. Next is we're going to display the third string and then we're going to display the character that we use which is move AH02 and then since we stored it to BL we move it to DL so, so that it will be able to display it. So we execute it using interrupt21 then we exit the program. Okay, So this is an example that computes for the sum of two numbers. I'll uh, provide the link for our source code. Uh, hope you like the program and in the video. Thank you for watching. Bye.